Hey guys, I'm Josh, and I'm a video producer and creator. The cool thing about what I do is I make videos with Legos. This month, we're going to give you a behind-the-scenes look into the final days that Jesus spent on Earth. And it all started with a big crowd in the celebration. It was almost like a parade. Have you been to a parade before? Jesus was traveling with his disciples, and as they drew near to the city of Jerusalem, Jesus sent two of his disciples to go on ahead. He told them, Go into the village in front of us, and immediately you will find a donkey tied up. Untie it and bring it to me. If anyone says to you or asks you what you are doing, say, The Lord has need of it, and the owner will let you take it. The disciples went and did what Jesus told them to. They brought the donkey to Jesus. Then they put their cloaks on the colt so that Jesus could sit on it. This happened so that a prophecy would come true. Here is what the prophet Zechariah, a messenger of God, had promised many years ago. People of Jerusalem, shout, Look, your king is coming to you. He is humble and riding on a donkey. He is sitting on a donkey's colt. Jesus rode the colt towards the city of Jerusalem, and there was a large crowd that had gathered. Most of the crowd spread their cloaks on the road for the donkey to walk on. Others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road to honor Jesus. There were crowds of people that walked in front of Jesus and crowds of people that followed behind him. All of the people were shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. The whole city was stirred up, saying, Who is this? And the crowd said, This is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth of Galilee. Welcome back to another behind the scenes video. So one question I get asked a lot about my Lego videos is how I get the characters. The answer is that my family and I actually make them. For these videos, we had to make over 100 custom Lego Bible characters. Some of them were pretty easy to make, but others took a lot more time and effort. Here's how I make a simple Bible Times costume. To start, I pick a torso and legs that match the color of the costume I have in mind. I don't worry too much if the torso already has designs on it, because it'll get covered up later. Next, I cut a piece of fabric that is a little more than two times the height of a Lego man. Fold the fabric in half and cut a small hole on the crease for the minifigure's neck. Finally, I create a sash to wrap around them, securing it with a bit of adhesive putty and a mini rubber band. So that is how we make a basic Lego Bible costume. But the key to making creative costumes and props for your Legos is to use what you have available. I'm adding some wooden beads. Um, they're just normal wooden beads, but they really look like they're clay pots. and so. You'll see I put those by almost every door and on every rooftop just to make it feel a little bit more authentic. The donkey was just modified from a Lego horse that I had, and many of the costumes that you see in this video were simply made from fabric scraps that my mom had around the house. But in the end, it all comes together to create an awesome scene. <laughs> what a crowd! Just imagine what it would have been like to be there as Jesus entered Jerusalem. There were people shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna. People were waving palm branches and laying down their coats for Jesus. God had promised to send a king, the Messiah, someone who was going to save his people. And that person, that promised king, was Jesus. 
Well, I need to go film some more videos, and so I'm gonna have to say goodbye for now. But I hope you enjoyed this, and I can't wait to see you in the next behind the scenes video. Bye.